After 11 plus years of war, America's Army is better trained, better equipped, and more experienced than at any other time in our history. Now as we look ahead to the future, we must do what we can to ensure that our force remains strong, capable, and resilient. And that is what our Ready and Resilient campaign is all about. Improving the readiness of our total Army team, which consists of leaders, soldiers, Army civilians, and family members. And the key to our success in this important endeavor will be strong leadership. At all levels of command, individuals must lead by example, set and enforce high standards, and hold themselves and others accountable. Our leaders, active, guard, and reserve, must actively engage and monitor the welfare of their soldiers and their families. This is vital during deployments, after incidents that could negatively impact them and as they transition. To support those efforts, leaders must be aware of the many programs and services in both the command and civilian communities that support this campaign. And this information can come from many sources fellow soldiers, leaders, family members, medical care providers, neighbors, and others. I and other senior leaders of our Army encourage and expect all soldiers to develop the skills that will enable them to increase their performance and readiness in combat, to heal after injury, and that includes invisible wounds, such as post-traumatic stress and traumatic brain injury, and to manage the challenges of work and home life. Resilient soldiers are skilled professionals who live by the soldier's creed and the Army values. They are self-aware, seek help when needed, and intervene to help others. They embrace challenges, solve problems, and continuously learn, improve, and strengthen themselves, their units, and their families. By ensuring that our people in our units are ready and resilient, we will remain Army strong.